Saparista are proud sponsors of the Wonderbird Show. Treat yourself to the wonderful taste of the Mediterranean supplied by local artisans. <laughs> This is that voice. Morning. Oh. Morning. <clears throat> Morning. La, 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 la. Oh, now you see, now you see, you can sing, can't you? Well, I, I can hold a note around a Joanna um, if yes. I am full of uh, <laughs> life and liquor. Well, um, liquor. Well, the funny thing, so all this week, because obviously we've been talking a lot about the football, um, and uh, whether it comes home or not, I think we're all going to be absolutely spent by the time we get to the match, the beginning of which is, of course, is on Sunday on ITV. So um, <laughs> our voices are beginning deeper and deeper and deeper all week. I think by the time I get to Sunday, I'm going to sound like Peggy Mount. Now, anyone who gets the Peggy Mount reference, <laughs> thank you. Um, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll all be of a similar no, age. No, you know week. who you, you sound like is Phyllis. Phyllis. You know Phyllis. Hello. Oh, Phyllis Pierce. So um, <laughs> Jill, the, the late Jill Summers. I remember, we've all been around so long, haven't we? So I remember when they first, uh, they did those Granada studio tours for, for Coronation Street on the old set. And I, I was <laughs> Jill Summers, and it would have been, I think, Sherry, you would have been there, darling. It would have been about- Would have been with Jill if it was Jill, 30, yeah. 35 years ago, but 30, 30, the 35th anniversary. Anyway, and I was sat next to Jill Summers, of course, who played Phyllis Pierce, Percy Love. And- um, <laughs> Uh, she said, they've got a perfume named after me on the Granada Studio Tours. I said, oh, really? Yeah, it smells like cat piss. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when I went into the street, we were always told that um, you couldn't have a dressing room when you first went in. You had to earn one. Mm. And I, I earned mine. It was Amanda Barris, and I went in there. And then on the tours, we all used to do uh, lunch times on the tours. But there was a memorabilia shop in the tours. And I went in one day and I was ahead of a pencil, which was that pin. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God. And Please. they said to me, so I went back into the green room and they said, what we all strive for, Sherry, is to be a, a fridge magnet. When <laughs> you're a fridge magnet, you have made it in Coronation Street, but you might never make a fridge magnet. And just six months before I left, I became a fridge magnet. <laughs> Darling, better than Oscar. Did we see the Queen uh, on the street? Well, yes. 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 And, and this came out of nowhere. Nowhere. Um, I know. Uh, and I, uh, Sally Ann Matthews, I, I love the fact that, that um, she offered the Queen, you know, a hot pot. She said, you know, we're still doing takeaway hot pots when the Queen yeah. <laughs> COVID measures in the world of Weatherfield, which I thought was genius. And I texted Sally, oddly enough, and it would, would have been Thursday night, wasn't it? That's when the visit yeah. was. Mm, and yeah. um, she said, keeping it real, keeping it real. I said, oh, well done, love. And, and everybody was, you know, you can imagine up to 90 about it. It's an amazing, uh, not the first time royalty's been on the street, obviously, but an amazing no. sight to see the, the queen. queen yes, on the cobbles as we approach England. Excuse me, there was a red carpet down on the cobbles, darling. She the wasn't red. on the cobbles, she was oh. red carpeted. Oh, yeah, red carpeted. Anybody and knows that those cobbles are a death trap, frankly. Lethal. Yeah. Lethal. Dripping. And she requested uh, the cobbles. music, didn't she, at the end? I, yeah, but I just love that. There was something so British about the Queen on the yeah. cobbles. And then, of course, yes. the, the, the sort of, whether you're a fair weather football fan like me and just throw yourself behind the boys when there's a big tournament. Um, I just <laughs> feel that there's been this fantastic unifying effect and, and a sort of a, a giddiness about everything now that we're emerging from this ennui, which is French for ennui, by the way. <laughs> I loved, I loved about it was the fact that she had a lovely smile as well and you heard her chatting normally she always looks quite austere the queen but you saw yes, her smiling she and, she, and she looked really yeah. lovely and i thought bill roach looked extremely handsome yesterday what's happening to me yeah. well, well, i wouldn't go that far if you well, if you've ever met Bill, he's an, he's an extraordinary, extraordinary uh, man. I, I, it, it's, a, it's a phenomenal gene pool because if you've met the whole family, um, yeah. you can see that you know, it, it, you know. Whereas my family looks like we've been carved out of Mount Rushmore. Bill's family <laughs> looks like they've been carved out of cream cheese. They're all just so perfect, right? Beautiful, so perfect yeah. Dude. There's no picture in the attic, but he is. I mean, what is he now, Sherry? He must be what eighty six? Is he? Um, I think oh, he's no. no, he's more than that. More than that. More than yeah, that. maybe. Yeah. Gosh. But looks amazing. And you know what? It, it's having that great head of hair. He's got some luscious. Oh, hair. he's got fabulous. When I first went into the street in that 1981, they put me, and you can imagine, terrified going into the street because of the big stars. And I, guess who I shared a dressing room with? Jean Alexander. Oh. 
impressive. And it was it was, was terrible. It was completely and utterly terrifying because you know oh. she was she was so new. She was lovely, but you know here's me, little rookie, and she was so lovely and she was so friendly. She was talking a lot about her pussy actually. How wonderful! Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, listen, yes, she... Richard. I want to talk about you. So. Mm -hmm. Rob Rinder, Bob Rinder is going into pantomime with Leslie Joseph in Bristol. Wow. He's going to play evil. Now, you should be a dame. Well, you should be dame Richard Arnold anyway, but um, you should have been is... a dame. And I yeah. think you'd be great in oh. pantomime. Totally. Totally he would. agree. I've you always, would. always wanted, and this will come as no huge shock to uh, fans of Wonderbirds, Good Morning Britain, or you, of course. <laughs> my favorite litter, um, is that um, I, I've always loved the thought of um, feeling the rake of the stage beneath me. I had a cheeky cameo in Mamma Mia and um, another one in Sir Not Appearing with Bonnie Langford, you know, the, the, the Camelot one. The, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and it was great fun. I, I, I loved that. Blimey, you'd have to hold your nerve. The thing is about the dame, it, it is an art form. And it is. you kind of yeah. carry the show. And I remember uh, the late Keith Chegwin uh, once um, told me that, um, uh, you know, the key thing in Panto is A, to get a slice of the merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> and to be, on, to be on stage as little as possible, but, you know, make a bit of an impact. And then, you know, as long as you're on before the intermission or second half, I suppose we should call it this weekend of all weekends, um, then you can just say, don't forget kids, you'll need those glow sticks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get the kids to best to the parents, so you can so you can get a slice of the merchandise. But I, I would love to do uh, a panto. It, it, you the, should. The, the trouble it's is all about bad. the frocks. You see, the dame is all yeah. about the frocks. But it's you've got to have about your, fourteen changes. You know, but yeah. your fluidity. I think he has in his Dickie's den. I'm quite sure he has enough frocks there. But your wit, your fluidity, your instantaneous. But you'd be brilliant. You, you would be so in a good. Nano. You, hey, listen to this, Richard. If you were going to play Ugly Sister, who would you play it with? Oh, well, I'm Ooh. in the smorgasbord of talent that's sitting opposite me now. I wouldn't Thank be you. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best thing is, who would want to be the rear of my donkey? Yes. Well, that's well, you're a long boy. I don't mind. Sorry, you're a yeah. long boy. The, the, the thought of me being let loose on stage uh, is sort of, you know, completely un tethered and it would be brilliant Richard. And and it would be sensational. Oh, you'd be brilliant and you would be amazing because you know you have instant rapport you have instant you know whatever you say you come back in a second with yes. something brilliant and funny it's a natural oh. thing for you get on it look and the you. public oh. love you oh but you we don't so but much. the public oh, do. God, look at so many compliments this morning <laughs> this i can't stand <laughs> it is this my last show yeah <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Richard. You've been great. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Um, yeah. Well, we'll put the thought out there. We'll let we'll let the universe decide. Um, oh yes. Yeah. I absolutely um, would love to to try. I, I'd uh, love to see your widow twenty. Uh, oh, so would oh. I. The Best off you've had a week, darling. <laughs> and of course, Jerry, you were saying at lunch that uh, the panto seasons aren't nearly as long as they used to be, of course. which No, be they're long. only about three weeks now, yeah. whereas they used to be six weeks and some used to go to March. Yeah, it's like I said, days, that yeah. Birmingham, Birmingham was the one. Birmingham Hippodrome used to go forever and ever and yeah, ever. Yeah, but I not, not a while. I think, April. I was I think most of them about, the, the longest now is about four weeks. Yeah, but so most Michelle of them have three. Now I can't speak. I was talking to Michelle de Trees and she used to do it with um, piano, Les Dawson. 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 Dawson, thank you. She used to do it with Les Dawson and it used to go right till Easter, from Christmas yeah. to Easter. That's right. Yeah, they, they did then, yeah. And, yes. and, I mean, being in pantomime with, um, I think what I would love most is, uh, you know, obviously doing the show, but, but it is, it, it's a wonderful feeling being a part, I think, of a company of players. And I know it's not without its jeopardy, but it's the idea <laughs> of being, being, as we know from this show, but just being a part of a sort of family in faces, of faces with a beginning and an end, you know, because yeah. you know, um, the idea of just that concentrated um, uh, uh, effort that you all put in, you're all on the same page, you're all absolutely rinsed. Um, and I suppose <laughs> you as well, wouldn't you, with all the costume changes and stuff and the colanders and all that business. But I, I like the idea of that. I've always, whenever I've watched theatre, from the moment I saw uh, Joseph and his amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat with Jess Conrad, 
uh, back in oh, the yes. 70s. And I always thought it must be amazing to be up there, you know? Yeah. And I remember I was, I was interviewing, it was Sheena Easton and Tom Lister. Uh, it would have been... Um, 42nd Ooh. Street, come on along yeah. and do yeah. the Fabulous Tom Lister, wow. I'm gonna speak. And then coming down the stairs, you know, you're hoofing, she's moving, I'm traveling, I'm traveling. <laughs> you sort of, coming, and, and you come down the stairs like this, because obviously with the rake of the stage, and, the yeah. stage, and they're all doing this. I honestly, I don't know how people do it. I can't stick <laughs> with it, as you know, ladies. So maybe pantomime would work for me rather than a West End show. Because be brilliant. Be you You'd be amazing. Copies. Yeah. Oh, you can you brilliant. imagine throwing those one-liners out? I can hear you now. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Well, the, is, parents, just... the parents running, screaming in terror once they get the innuendo. <laughs> I mean, last that year, last year we, did the, we had the Wonder Birds pantomime last year. I mean, we've got the cast here. We've got you now as as a dame. We've got a show. We've got a show. Oh, don't say it again, Debbie. No, no, oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, you've got to do it, Richard. <laughs> and I can do Pratt Falls too. Yes, there you I go. Know. Ladies, I love you. Loving hey, you oh, back. Love That's you too. Your next job. Yes. We'll yes. Take, see, actually, I'm, you know, I'm going to take mum out for lunch. Going to take mum out for lunch. It was her birthday this week. She was 84, and I, I took her to Claridge's. Um, and she hasn't been well for a bit of sciatica, as you girls know. So um, that's very painful at any age. Uh, so we've been sort of rehabilitating her, and um, I've been going over and doing the exercise with her. It's like, did you, oh, did you buy oh, her oh. blanket, Richard? Yes, yes, and that earthing blanket that you recommended, Debbie, that's on its way. So um, I took her to Claridge's, which is a sort of family tradition going way, way back. And we get very well looked after, which is lovely. And the funny thing is, on the Monday, I thought, oh, I, 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 I need to tell her bit clarity this is tomorrow but I, I don't want her to feel like really pressure and of course the minute I told her she lit up and, and she got her energy back so took took her to clarity she had a lovely time and then it was back, back home for a cup of tea and a hot water bottle but she's doing well ladies which is great oh, so go, over oh, fabulous. go over there now and take her out for a refreshing uh, beverage you're a very good oh. son oh she's a very good son, a very good son. Um, I love you ladies love love you too, we have everybody have a Richard, wonderful weekend Richard, Richard it's important to say which we didn't say yeah. is that when you do panto mm. we take a percentage i think we did, we forgot to say that that was the important as thing we did. came up with the idea you mean Stuart, yeah. get the door <laughs> get the door Stuart. there's a knock at the door <laughs> there's a knock at the door oh, yes. i heard that leaves meeting leaves meeting how do i get <laughs> <laughs> love you love you bye bye, bye darling Saparista are proud sponsors of The Wonderbird Show. Treat yourself to the wonderful taste of the Mediterranean supplied by local artisans, 